Hi, uh, Brian Mobley with the Arms Room, and uh, discussing a little bit right now of, of what's called extension of fire. Uh, that is the gun from the high ready position going toward the target to, uh, to fire target and break the shot. Uh, as always, uh, we have no live ammunition in this room, and uh, um, my gun has been cleared on the range, which we're going to do that again right now while we're standing here. Um, up, out. See the third gun. Chamber's cleared. All right, extension of fire starts basically from uh, the high ready. I prefer the high ready position because my front sight is up higher where I can see it. I do not have the gun rocked up like that because that's that's one more thing I have to do. If you can see my wrist is bent quite a bit forward, and and and, and that's I want it that way. I want this thing to stay flat so when it goes out to the target. Uh, I draw the gun up, flatten it out, and then with extension of fire, I go ahead and push the gun straight out in front of me. And yes, my finger is going on the trigger as this gun leaves the high ready. If I'm pushing my gun forward, it is with the intention to shoot. And I go ahead and break the shot. If I'm not shooting, I pull the gun back to me. <coughs> Excuse me, the reason the gun is back to me is in a, in a, in a tactical situation. Um, uh, fancy word for a plan, but. In, in my tactical plan, uh, the gun back to me, I can see more. I can keep, the, it's a higher uh, probability of me keeping this gun retained uh, uh, instead of hanging it out there. So I like the gun back to me if I'm not shooting. Uh, I can see, retain the gun, and I can also be able to move. I, I can run. If you can imagine trying to run with a gun in front of you, it is uh, a little harder than it looks. So I like the high ready. Again, we push the gun straight forward, my finger hits the triggers, take the slack out, and break the shot. If you notice, that shot broke about the time it bottomed out. Where we see this extension of fire go wrong is generally a poor stance. We'll, we'll kind of throw people off balance a little bit, but mostly it's a poor grip. If they don't have a good solid grip on the gun, it's going to bobble. Okay? But the, the, where it really goes wrong is when they push the gun out, they're in such a hurry, the shooter's in such a hurry to get the gun in front of their face that, it's, that it just shakes out there. They, it's, it's a train wreck at the, end of the, at the end of the run. And really what it should be is more of a, uh, uh, a you know, hear a lot of terms, but one of the terms I heard that I really liked was the uh, kind of hit the air brakes. So when my gun gets out there, I want to stop and then, and then prepare the trigger and let the shot break. But I want to control that gun to where I get a nice even shot. This extension of fire, I practice more than any other thing uh, in shooting. I practice, of course, drawing a gun from the holster, trigger reset drills, so on and so forth. But in my opinion, uh, extension of fire is where the rubber meets the road. And, and if I can master that and stay mastered on it, which means the practice, <laughs> um, that, that's going to help me shoot efficiently, quicker, and stay accurate. Thank you.